Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to fix a weak flushing toilet. This will be a full tutorial, but also a pretty easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I am on the inside of the toilet, okay? So let's take a better look. We have the toilet bowl over here, then we have the toilet tank over here. I've removed the lid, so now we can see the inside of the toilet tank, I should have said, okay? There are a few different moving parts in here that you should know about, but the most important ones are the fill unit and the flapper that you see over there and the flush lever which is right over here okay so basically um, if your toilet has a weak flush one of the main culprits might be a low water level if you look on the inside of the tank of the toilet there's going to be a water line i'm going to try and give you a better view of this one right here um, it actually says water line right over there so you want to be roughly at the water line if there's not a ton of water in the tank then when you flush it not a lot of water is going to go into the bowl what happens when you flush it is that essentially all of this water ends up in the bowl and then it refills i'm going to show you i'm going to flush this right now so as you can see all of that water ends up in the bowl and then now it starts to fill up again you hear that little hissing sound it's filling up again okay and the flapper closes now so now the tank fills up again okay so if your water line is too low if your water level is below the water line then what's going to happen is it's going to let all the water into the toilet but it's going to produce a weak flush because there's not going to be that much water that's usually the culprit but there's also another reason that you can look into and to adjust the water level of the toilet bowl uh, of the toilet tank usually you just adjust the fill valve um really simple to do i've actually done another tutorial on that and there are many other great tutorials by other people as well so be sure to look it up and just raise up that water level okay now if that is not the problem if your water level is fine then you have to look into the other issue which might be that your flapper valve is not your flapper is not staying open for long enough so you see right here, when you push the lever, when you push the lever, this lifts up. Okay, sorry about that. So when you push the lever, this lifts up. Okay, when this lifts up, it pulls up that flapper right there. Okay, and the flapper stays open and then it closes. Now, the, as long as the flapper's open, the flushing will happen. As long as the flapper's open, the water will make its way into the toilet bowl and continue flushing. If that flapper closes too fast, then guess what? You're not going to have a good flushing action. You're going to have a weak flush. So, what you want to do is flush it and see if that flapper stays open. I'm going to push the lever right here. We're going to watch it. So, you can see it stays open just like that and it allows the water to make its way into the bowl, okay? Starts making its way down, okay? Just like that, and it closed now. So now the flushing is done, and now it just fills up the toilet bowl tank, okay? So, if you notice that your flapper just opens and closes, it doesn't stay open for long enough, what's likely the cause is you might need a new flapper, which is really easy to replace, really inexpensive to buy, um, or you might just have too much slack on your chain over here. You see, when I push this lever down, the lever over here pulls up on the chain, which pulls up on the flapper. If I had too much slack, then it would only pull up on the flapper a little bit. So it wouldn't allow the flapper to fully open, okay? So basically, if your flapper is just kind of going toot toot, it's just opening and closing, and you're, not, you're getting a weak flush, then it's likely because you have too much slack on the chain okay i'll demonstrate in one second once it's done filling you're gonna see that when i pull up when when i pull up on the chain using the flush lever okay it there's only a little bit of slack and now pulls the flapper up all the way if you have too much slack it won't pull the flapper up all the way which will cause it to close too fast which will give you a weak flush so all that you got to do is just there's a little chain and a hook right there all you have to do is wait till the flushing is done, so you don't have to worry about it, uh, like, you know, any water moving around in there. Just adjust the chain so it has less slack. It's really easy to do. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And, of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.